Hi again, it's Penny Kerbel, your North Myrtle Beach Realtor. If you're looking for something different to do in our beautiful beach area, today I'm going to give you some great suggestions for planning your next out-of-town trip. There's some great day trips to take just a short drive from North Myrtle Beach. So I'll be back in just a second to tell you my favorite ones. One of my favorite trips is to Brook Green Gardens. Brook Green Gardens is a sculpture garden and wildlife preserve located just south of Merle's Inlet in South Carolina. The 9,100 acre property includes several themed gardens featuring American figurative sculptures, the Low Country Zoo, and trails through several ecosystems in nature reserves on the property. No matter what time of year, Brookfield is one of my favorite places to visit. The gardens are always beautiful and they host many special events. If you're here during the Christmas holidays, I recommend getting tickets for the 10,000 candles. It's amazing. You can take a creek excursion from the end of March to the end of November each year. The creek excursion will allow you to cruise the creeks on a 48-foot pontoon boat. You will pass historic rice fields, now homes to alligators, waterfowl, and osprey, as an interpreter helps you see the distinctive landscape of the rice plantations and more. There are many other events on their calendar, like Brew at the Zoo and a local favorite I mentioned before, Nights of a Thousand Candles. While you're there, you should check out the gift shop and eating options. This weekend, Columbus Day weekend, is the Harvest Home Festival. After Brook Green, try out Merle's Inlet. Merle's Inlet is called the South Carolina Hammock Coast for a good reason. In this little fishing village, along the marsh with a history of pirate slayers, it's always the season for relaxed southern living. The Marsh Walk, which is located in the heart of this historic fishing village, a half-mile wooden boardwalk along the natural saltwater estuary. The restaurants along the Marsh Walk are fantastic, from Drunken Jacks to the Wicked Tuna and many more. Learn about the pirates like Blackbeard and Drunken Jack who used to sail these waters. When I drive through Merrill's Inlet, I always like to stop for an ice cream at Twister Soft Serve. This time, I met a family who lives where I grew up in Virginia. It's a small world, isn't it? And then, of course, you've got Polly's Island. Polly's Island awaits just south of Merle's Inlet, a beach area once the host for wealthy planners taking their families on vacation. The history of this, as it's called, Blessed Isle, goes back to Percival Polly the first European settler to develop plantations on this thin strip of land between the Atlantic Ocean and the Waccamaw River, known as the Waccamaw Neck. But historians say that the island itself was named for Percival's sons, George, Anthony, and Percival Jr. As I mentioned, these sites are an easy day trip from the North Myrtle Beach area and guaranteed to please all ages. And next week, We'll be back on the road with another community tour. See you next week. If you liked this video, you might want to watch this one next.